Sunday, precious one, and welcome back to Rekanili's Kitchen. If you are new, I'm Nana Binayan. Today, I'm going to cook Tiozafi. Tiozafi. This Tiozafi is my mother's method or my mother's This recipe. channel is about using the things you have at home to create authentic recipes. So, I'm going to use the things I have at home, same as my mother. When she is about to cook, she used the things that she already have at home to make authentic meals. So today I'm going to use the things I have at home to make tiozafi. If you want to see how I'm going to make this Ghanaian authentic tiozafi, please keep watching. Because of, because of the dining room, the formal dining room, and then the tea dining or the interior garden dining, we painted all the windows. So. Yeah, that's why I couldn't do a lot or plant a lot outdoors. So this is the onions and it's ready. So the onions is ready. I'm taking out the place from it. This is the potatoes. I will leave the potato for a month, then we take them out. This white onions is not so good. This means I'm going to do the potato cake. This is so amazing. I planted. So these are the onions I picked from the garden two weeks ago. After I wash it, I dry it. So I'm going to use all for the cooking. Yeah, we plug them together and wash it together and it's dry now. It has been two weeks since I placed it on this white sheet. So, so to start with this Tiozafi stew. I'm going to use crushed tomatoes, Molokia leaf, or Ayoyo, or Jute leaf. It has many names. Cow tree, that is here, my dear. Cow legs, Kutuji. Onions, this is the onions I pick from the garden. I have wash, dry, and take off the skin and I frozen it for some reason. Salmon, shrimps, meat, cooking oil. And then I'm going to push all this aside. So this is this is dawa dawa rosemary Ghanaian black pepper thyme basil cumin or caraway and then salt to taste so these are all the ingredients we are going to use to make the stew now i'm going to blend 
the dry ingredients. dry ingredients is ready so I'm going to place it aside the next is I'm going to blend the onions so I'm going to add little water I'm going to add so I add a little bit of water and I'm going to blend it So I'm going to steam the meat, all of them, except the fish and the shrimps. This is the cow legs, the cow trip, the boneless I'm going to add one tablespoon of the mixture or the spices we blended. It is steaming method and I'm going to add one deciliter water to help it to boil so that it becomes firm and tender. It helps it to cook faster and help it to become firm and tender quickly. I'm going to add only one tablespoon of onion, the blended onion, and cover it to steam. So I'm going to steam it for about 20 to 30 minutes. So it's still steaming. I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes, then we check whether the meat is now firm and tender. Not too soft, but firm and tender, okay? So after 20 minutes, I'm going to open it and add salt to taste. I did not add salt because sometimes when you add the salt, it takes a little longer. Add 
salt is always according to your taste. Instead. When the pot can the pot is hot, use pot holder to hold it, but it's not hot yet, that's why I'm holding it. So I'm going to cook it for 20 minutes more. The meat is ready. meat is ready so I'm going to put the heat off and then remove it from the stove and I'm going to pour it here I'm going to use the pot holder I'm using the pot holder to pour it here going to place it aside I'm going to place it aside for it to cool down according to the physician they said it's not good to heat the pot before pouring the oil so I'm going to pour the oil first before I swish the heat to 10 to 10 or to medium high the next is i'm going to pour in all the meat in the oil instead You can also use the meat without frying it. So I'm not going to fry it hard or dark brown. I'm going to lower the heat and then remove it. Remove the meat from the oil and place it in the colander. So I'm going to place it aside and then I'm going to use the same oil to fry the shrimps. The shrimps you can add to the soup direct. You can, you can add shrimp powder or hydrated shrimps. I'm using frozen or fresh. I'm using fresh shrimps. I'm going to fry it for only 15 minutes when it's ready. So I'll lower the heat and after 15 minutes it's ready. So I'm going to remove it from the oil. Oh, 15 minutes later it's ready. So it's ready and I'm going to place it aside. I'm going to use the same oil to prepare the stew. So I pour in the blended onion and stir. I'm 
going to fry the onion for about 20 minutes. You can add garlic if you want. The spices or the season is all according to your desire. So 20 minutes later, I pour in the blended tomatoes. I'm going to stir it and then leave it to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. This is 20 minutes later. I'm going to add Kenya pepper. The salt and the pepper is always according to your taste. I'm going to add two tablespoons of the season or the spices we blend. And stir it. I'm going to taste it. Now I can add salt to taste and then stir it gently. And then I'm going to add the salmon. After adding the salmon, I stir it gently. Now I'm going to I'm going to cover it and place it on a medium high heat for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Oh, look at it. Oh, this is too dangerous. Traditionally, they use fish powder, but I don't have fish powder at home. That's why I said Rekanli's channel is all about using the ingredients you have at home to make authentic recipe. So, I'm going to mash the salmon. It's, red, it's cooked now, so I'm going to mash it for, so that it becomes little pieces. This channel is all about using the ingredients you have at home to make authentic recipe or ingredients that are easy to find to make authentic recipe if you don't have dawa dawa you can use any spices of your desire so now I'm going to taste if the salt is okay The salt is okay, so I'm going to add the stock we use to steam the meat. It was small liquid. Then I'm going to pour in the meat. instead this is the shrimps 
you can always use shrimps powder instead I'm going to switch the back stove and place it on on a very low heat and place the stew on so I can prepare the green I'm going to prepare the green sauce I'm going to use half deciliter water I'm going to add the rest of the spices and salt to taste and stir it I'm going to wait for this liquid to boil spices mixture is ready so I cut the bag and I'm pouring the green in it the jute leaf the sauce water or the spices water is ready and then stir it gently until it mixes well I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes then it's ready the green soup is ready this is cassava flour called kukunti and this is corn flour but it's not too smooth so I'm going to blend it again so please keep watching I'm I'm going to blend the corn. It's not too smooth. It's not too smooth. So I'm going to blend it. So yeah, I'm blending it. So I have placed on 300 ml water on a medium high heat. The water is all according to your desire. The water is according to how much you are going to make the tiozafi, the tiozafi, the white benku, the one that look like the benku. I'm going to pour in about half deciliter of the corn meal instead like a porridge form so I'm going to allow it to boil for about 20 to 30 minutes the porridge is ready so I'm going to mix the flour with a big cup or with a big container I'm going to mix the corn flour and the cassava flour together so this is the corn flour and this is the cassava flour I'm going to mix them together I'm 
going to take some of the porridge. Pour in the flour little by little and stir it very fast. Sorry if there is particles on the stove, okay? Sorry. Then I'm going to add more of the curry and stir it slowly. And then I'm going to add all of the porridge. So the chiozafi is ready, it is ready. So I'm going to make it run run with a plastic bag. It's not necessary you use the plastic to mold it or to give it a shape. You can, you can just take it like this and place it into a bowl. That is all. Let me add a little more. Yeah, I'm going to place it aside. I'm going to serve myself. The next is the stew. Take one of the pen of the chiozafi and then open it, place it here. So this is the chiozavi, the next is...